Hello guys, this is Devi and I would like to come to my channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, how to freeze Tron in a Tron Link wallet and why you should be having some Tron frozen in the Tron wallet. So basically, we are going to look at the benefits of freezing Tron in your Tron Link wallet or any other wallet in case you are using the Tron blockchain. So, um... So some of you have been getting some failed transactions yet you have some Tron in your wallet to cater for the fees. So in most cases it is due to you not having some Tron that is frozen or you don't have enough energy or bandwidth to cater for that transaction. So um, uh, to begin with, uh, the Tron network works with energy and bandwidth which is needed to do transactions and execution of smart contracts. Uh, so if you, uh, every day, uh, you get free bandwidth points, about 5,000 a day, so that you can do some free transactions, but you won't get free energy. So in all, all in all, you need to have energy in order to execute transactions and smart contracts. So if you don't have enough energy and bandwidth for a smart contract or a transaction, it will use some spare TRX on your wallet to cover for these fees. So normally that's why you see you are charged higher fees compared to some other people, yet you are transacting the same amount. So I would recommend you freeze about 70% of the Tron that you want to freeze to energy and 30% to be allocated to bandwidth. So um, let me jump in and show you guys how to do that. So as you can see, you go to freeze. There is freeze here, there is send button, there is receive, there is swap, there is freeze, and there is vote. So you click on freeze and it will open like that. So now let me first go back and i show you i've been having some tron that is frozen so this is my wallet uh, if you click there you can see that i'm I've frozen about 30 tron but i'm going to add on it you see the more tron you have the more advantage that you have so uh, some other people freeze like uh, 100 tron in energy and also 100 tron in bandwidth so but you can do 50 and 30. So uh, let us go back now. So we go to freeze. And then as you can see here, there is there is energy, there is bandwidth. Now my frozen tron, the 30 that I'm having in the wallet, is, is frozen in energy. So I'm going to add on it. <coughs> I want it to be like 50. So I'm going to add like 20 Tron or 30. Let me add 30. So it will give me 857 energy, which is equal to 30 volts. And then here they tell you the receiving account. So now uh, this is a new feature. You can also freeze for some other account of yours using another account. So if you have that, you can just click there. And then you put the address. So, but that one, I'm not going to go into it not go to into it uh, i'm going to show you how to freeze in that an individual wallet so this is my wallet there down so when i click on freeze um it will ask me to confirm I enter my password i'm going to pause and enter my password so i've entered my password when i click on done and the transaction is submitted so uh, now I'm going to be having around 60 Tron that is frozen. Uh, let me show you. If we go here on Tron, you can see I'm having 60 that is frozen. But all that 60 is frozen on energy. So I'm going to also put some Tron on bandwidth so that I can increase my bandwidth. So um, we go back. We go back to freeze. And then here it is indicating energy, so I just have to click on bandwidth and 
I'm going to put like also like 30 tron. So it will give me th 45 bandwidth, which is equal to 30 volts. And also I click on freeze. I confirm the transaction. Enter my password. So I'm done entering the password. Click on send. So the transaction is also submitted. So now I'm going to be having 90 tron that is frozen with 60 in energy and 30 in bandwidth so let us go back so this is what i'm saying guys so you can see 90 is frozen and if we are to go back here you can see that energy i'm having enough energy and also i'm having enough bandwidth so um so to unfreeze the trx uh you just uh get them back are you uh sorry to unfreeze the trx and get them back you'll need to wait after about 72 hours the first time you freeze it so i've frozen today if i want to unfreeze i'll just have to wait and get it back after 72 hours so um so now the benefits of freezing are this you'll get the transactions will be will process faster and you'll be charged less fees and your tron will not get missing when you have frozen enough tron so in other words uh, all tr transactions will be executed very well and you won't be charged higher fees when you want to do transactions so that's it guys i'll see you in the next video remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos